Hello and welcome back to your new lesson. In previous lesson, I had shown you how you can create a MATLAB script. In this lesson, I am going to show you how you can add loop and conditional statement into your script. There are so many um, loops and the conditional statements such as for, while, if and the switch. So, to apply these conditional and uh, loop statements, let's create a script named as uh, calc mean so you can write here edit and then calc mean dot m so it will ask you there is no file with this name so do you want to create it yes of course I want to create it now it will create a new file named as calc mean and in this calc mean we are going to create five set of random samples and then we will calculate overall mean of those five set of random samples. So let's write here end sample. Before that, let's comment it. For comment, we are going to write here create five set of random samples. Okay. And each sample size is 50 right and then you can write here calculate mean of each sample and then overall mean so for that we have to first write here n sample n sample is equal to 5 and then n points so n points is 50 right that means there will be a 5 column of random numbers and each column will be having a 50 row so we need to use here for loop and you can use for loop like this you can just write here for and then k k is just temporary variable is equal to 1 and colon to n sample okay so it's n samples make it samples so n samples and then it says that now there is no end statement so after that you can add here end statement so now this end statement is uh, you know matching for your for loop and in this case k is a temporary variable and in each iteration k will advance to one step so in the first iteration k will be 1 and in the last iteration k will be equivalent to the n samples that is 5 now let's create two array current data is equal to rent and then here n points and then 1 one thing you might have noticed here that like in other programming languages in the MATLAB we do not need to define your uh, variable first so in the MATLAB MATLAB automatically take the type of and the size of variables while it runs the code so the current data is not defined anywhere but here we are directly assigning a value to the current data but it will not throw any error because MATLAB works like this and then we are going to create a new array that is the sample mean and inside new array we are going to store a value to increasing indexing so index number is here k and then we are going to store the mean of a current data okay here so let me tell you once more here how it will work so the current data is a vector and its size is 50 cross 1 and every time it will run each iteration it will calculate the mean of each row right so this is these are the row so one row two row three four and the five row there will be a data and for each row there will be a five five uh, mean so those mean will be stored into the sample mean so once it ends then uh, we can calculate overall mean so we can say here overall mean overall mean is equal to mean and then sample mean 
right so here we are not putting any uh, semicolon that means once we will run this script it will print that value into a command right so let's print it let's run it and it will show you so here overall mean is 0 0.4888 now let's uh, one more time run it one more time now this time its overall mean is 0 0.5085 so let's run it one more time this time its mean is 0 0.4512 now let's modify this code a little so that you can print print uh, what is happening inside this for loop so we are going to modify this code a little so that it can display text in the command window that includes the current iteration number and uh, for that we can remove a semicolon from here and in fact there are a few more things which we need to do here so let's write here iteration string okay iteration string and this iteration string in qln2 uh, we need to put here inside the square bracket and then iteration number and then we need to put here int to str conversion earlier we have seen this and then k so it will convert this integer k into a string and then it will be concatenated with this one and then iteration string will be a string and after that we can display this iteration string so just disp it okay you need to write here disp and uh, then iteration string okay so here is current data and finally we need to remove our semicolon from here and just save it and uh, you can run it from here itself now as you see here it is printing all the iteration inside the for loop so in the iteration first in the iteration first as you see here in the iteration first sample mean is 0 0.48 0 0.48 now 49 and 54 so these these means are for each column and here are here is your overall mean Mm, let me show you overall mean here is overall mean uh, perhaps one more things we are missing which uh, we can make it clear it's a little bit messy so to remove that mess what we can do uh, we need to put here a semicolon so that it will not print that and now it will print this data and finally it will print here this data right perhaps now this is fine let's save it and run it once again now this time you will see it here a sample mean but one more thing you might have noticed that at every iteration okay it is always printing 5 value you know what is the problem the problem is here we have already uh, assigned this I mean we have already run this code that's why this uh, sample mean was already stored somewhere right so what we can do we can clear this sample mean so for clearing and runtime you can write here sample mean okay so let's save it and run this application now here it is working perfectly fine in the first iteration there was a single array only there was a single vector that's why the simple mean was printed only one in the first iteration and in the second iteration now there were two columns that's why it is printing two and in the third iteration there were three columns in fourth iteration four columns and in the fifth iteration there were five columns and in the same way now you can run it one more time and you will get the same result almost same type of result right okay so far so is good now we are going to add some conditional statements like a if statement so what we are going to do here after this this we are going to do uh, let's uh, let's uh,
okay let it uh, as it is so we are going to add here two if statements and uh, we are going to identify uh, if its overall mean is nearby uh, 0.5 or not so you can just write if overall mean is less than 0.49 so one thing you might have noticed that it's if are the for statement do not take any parenthesis round parenthesis or any type of parenthesis so just to disappear what we can disappear mean is sorry less than expected and then we can type here end right and in the similar way so this is only for single if statement but suppose that if you have else and the if statement then you can write here else if okay so else if overall mean else if overall mean is greater than 0 0.51 then you need to dispute here disp mean is greater than expected else what you can write here else uh, you can say disp mean is within the expected range and finally you need to type here end right so let's run this and let's see what is the error so in the error somewhere it is saying that undefined function variable or mean overall overall mean so it says that overall mean is not defined so let's see why this is not defined uh, perhaps overall mean is defined but here it is uh, there was a little mistake so it's overall mean okay now it should work perfect it is working so this says that mean is greater than expected so mean should be around 0 0.5 only but here it is 0 0.5134 let's run it one more time in this time it was 5.45 and this time 0 0.4964 and it is saying that mean is within the expected range perfect so in the last but not the least i would like to show you few more things here as a top up suppose that if you do not know much about any command of MATLAB then you can just open a doc for that let's suppose that you want to know doc about the mean so you can write here doc mean so once you write here doc mean it will open a new window and it will show the full doc of the mean right how to calculate mean and other things great and suppose that if you want to get some only you know the sort information then you can write here only help and the mean so in the command window itself it will send you some you know the gist of that uh, full doc perfect so this is all about um, loops and the conditional statements and uh, please do not forget to subscribe this channel and uh, please like this video and share with your friends bye bye have a nice day